go to the bank and rent a safe and take the opportunity to memorize the lock structure. He practiced the terms of the robbery act. Most importantly, his negotiation skills with the police. Their accomplices had already made a successful connection to the safe in a sewer not far from the bank. In order not to leave any clues for the police, they decided to rob the bank with four people dressed as robbers. Before the operation, they put glue on their fingers so as not to leave fingerprints. One of them sneaked in through the sewers to meet the police to confuse them, while the other drove under the manhole cover to meet them. The four of them quickly entered the bank and took control of the bank without firing a shot. The security guard in the surveillance room saw what was happening and rushed to call the police. On the intercom, the robbers knew that the police had been called and ordered the receptionist to fill the bags with money. But they didn't plan to leave in a hurry, because they were aiming at the safe in the bank's underground vault. The police arrived quickly, and one of the robbers pushed